video. So in this video, I'm going to be reacting to um, Neon continues to embarrass himself. This is a Jamari video. Um, I don't know what else he he could do. Like he he does stuff so often, and it's clear that I guess he assumes he's trolling or think everybody's a part of the joke. I don't fucking know because after being checked so many fucking times by different people that honestly might have offed other people for doing the same shit, you would think he would calm down. I thought he was arrested. What happened with that? He was in a different country and he got arrested, right? I thought he was in that bitch for like, I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was going to be a minute. We was going to see him for a minute. Um, yeah, I just don't know how much more it's like he has to actually get hurt. And I mean like stomped out in the hospital hurt for him to chill. And he might not even chill then. Probably, probably will keep trolling and whatever and then crying or, and that's the thing. And I'm gonna stop talking because <laughs> I started talking too much. It's like these streamers will antagonize and harass and um, bully almost bully people and then when they get a reaction from these people then they want to hide behind security call the police all types of nah step the fuck up okay i don't like that energy that's very scary to me and i don't like that shit but anyways we're gonna see how as how else he um embarrassed about our favorite indian friend as well as his buddy jack doherty but recently Ew. the two of them I have both had their own individual drama and they've also been beefing with each other neon oh. let's go in the ring right now bare knuckle fight if you don't do it you're scared let's go tonight we can run tonight so if ain't that neon girlfriend <laughs> What is going on? Remember that Jack is the one who put Neon's OF girlfriend Sam on the map, and I guess the intertwining of all of these oh. different relationships has finally started to cause some turmoil. Go. I'm going to Sam's room. I just want to make sure no one's in there hiding. You know, another man. Oh, you're going to Sam's room? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He said another sure. man. I have a password to Sam's room. What, what would he do? This, this man right here that we're seeing on the screen. If another man was in there, what are you going to do? Please tell me, because you'll be screaming and crying and running. And now we finally got the crossover episode like when Jimmy Neutron and Timmy Turner came together that one time My to childhood. save the world. Only this video is a much more accurate representation as to what transpired Wait. between the two cancers of online entertainment. So first we gotta I'm talk about our guy Jack the Ripper after he found himself in hot water right. over this clip. Thank you, Those guys. order screens are so unhygienic. Yeah. Right, well, you probably haven't food in six days. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. The, you, you what? Here we go. Another notification? I gotta turn my notifications off. Screen recording. You probably haven't had food in six days. Oh, the N word. Obviously, I had to mute out the word for YouTube, but he calls a viewer simply Why? teasing him about. Uh, is it because he's not black? Is it like hate speech or some shit? I don't know. Or is it because he's. I don't know. We be saying nigga all the time. Monetize, non monetize, everybody. <laughs> so maybe it just don't matter on his side. <laughs> Eating at McDonald's, the N word with a hard ER. And the interesting thing is, a hard ER? Just come I must have missed this. I'm not going back. But I didn't hear the ER. You probably haven't had food in six days. <laughs> Notice how he it immediately says, ER. oh, I'm just kidding. Like he knows he fed up. <laughs> And I mean, for him to just say that word so casually, I feel like off stream, he must just be saying it all the time. Just punch him right there. Punch him straight in his shit. Black online, he would later come forward to deny the entire thing ever happened. I literally cannot believe I have to do this right now. How the f do people think I said the goddamn N word? Are you r I literally said hater. Watch the video back. And when I say the word hater, say the word hater in your head. If you say the other word in your head, it makes it sound like it says the other, other word. But I'm, I literally talk no, so fast that it sounds like it, but... I said hater. I say the word. I say fucking hater all the time. Like, if you watch any of my videos, you know I say that shit. Like, what the fuck is this shit? I'm literally gonna sue all these people saying I said that word because they're. Is there a video where it is not bleeped, so we could just listen? Immediately after it came out of your mouth, you knew you fucked up and you questioned your entire life. Like, why would you say my bad after calling someone a hater? Either way, it's kind of just your typical day over on Kick. And we'll actually get into Neon being humbled here in a second, but before we do, we have to talk about this fight that Jack Doherty and Neon had, where things actually did get physical more than once. And so they're at some sort of event here, and Neon decides to step up to Jack. What, what do you get out of that, bro? What do you, what do you see? Boy, what do you I get out of that, bro? Get out of my face. And so as you guys can see there, Neon oh, puts so Jack stupid. on the ground. Right here, slapping him with the power of 100 pillows. Here's one of the craziest screenshots from said fight where Jack has our Indian friend by the neck. So they get into that fight, I would think Indian that they all get kicked out of the arena. 
and I guess that Jack's ego could not take the fact that he looked like he got bitched online. And so only a couple of I minutes. I mean, to be real, I, don't, I ain't see shit. And then maybe it's because I don't got my glasses and I'm looking at my phone right now. But I'll put it up on my TV and watch it. See if I can see what's going on because I it didn't it just looked like a bunch of later he would go Little searching shit. for neon and this is where they would have this second physical altercation. These muscles are weird. Oh my god. Not... Stop, bro. Stop, stop. Oh my god. First of all, let me just say that the security guards here are going to be asking for a massive raise. And we also got to give credit where credit is due to this boy Neon. And I want y'all to watch as he ducks this punch. So at this point, it seems like the attack is over. This other guy comes in. Duck and weave, baby. Gotta give Neon the credit right No, no, I'm not giving him credit for ducking. You saw a hit coming, so you moved out the way. I don't know. I feel like that's a human right response. <laughs> it's just the two, it's the two most puss puss mo mofos fighting, which makes this still. Oh, my quarter million dollar watch is broken. Look at yourself now, buddy. Hey, security guard, too. And yes, guys, I know this is the definition of two clowns fighting. But this is one of the more entertaining things that like, we've gotten out of bro. IRL streaming in a very long time. And can we just acknowledge that this freeze frame right here is just an insane? He is picking this dude up and handling him as if he's some sort of angry toddler. Yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how the f I ended up here. It all started when Dr. Phil f***ed up and let me on his show. This also has to be one of my favorite random moments from this fight. Here. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> like, honestly, if you're rolling around in one of these two guys' entourage... To me, you really just need to rethink your entire existence. And I guess Neon felt like that fight made him look so bad, and he hates Jack so much at this point, that he now made his girlfriend delete her OF page, that I do believe that Jack was receiving royalties from, which is just insane. Like, can you imagine some little clout goblin that looks like this, getting money from the sale of your girlfriend's nudies? Sam, now, she's, she's deleting her OF after this. Oh, my mother's life, she's deleting her OF after this. No, she's, no, no, don't acknowledge none of that shit. I'm just saying, though, I'm saying she's deleting there, I'm done, so. The day after these fights occurred, Neon would jump back on stream to address the haters. Because motherfuckers did not touch me, bro. Motherfuckers did not touch me, bro. Do I look touched at? Oh my god, it's y'all are two noodles. Like, what is a good, like the, the muffos and Spongebob? I don't know, but what are we talking about? Talking about you didn't get touched? You shouldn't have got touched, bitch. Y'all look stupid. Like, mofos get into a dumb ass. No one hit each other. <laughs> it looked like fight. And they acting like this is like, this should go on a resume. As if it did, if this was worth anything. Do I look touched, bro? Do I look touched? I mean, listen, guys, there is real beef out here in these virtual streets. This man said for Jack, it's on site. It is on site, so it is on site. Just wanted to let that be. Oh my God, they, we got these motherfuckers thinking it's on site like that means some shit. Jack would also boot up his stream where he had this to say. I know everything about that motherfucker. He has, he has 50k view bots, so anything he has over 50k is what he actually has. So if he has, he normally has like 55k views, right? So that means he has 5k live viewers. Like, bro, you're not that guy with 5k live viewers. Like, oh my god, I'm so proud of you. 5,000 people. Like, that's like, uh, that means what, like 92% of his views are bots? I mean, it's just rich to hear that coming from him. Or any other, like, clout-chasing content creator who tries to make it look like they're living, you know, some sort of lifestyle when they're really not. Like, oh, I have X amount of money, or I have X amount of viewers, or I have this car, or I have this house. When it's really all just a facade. Um, to the little shit that, you know, obviously stream talk shit about me. The Don't forget that you paid shit. me $20,000 to do a stream with you. You're a fan. Now here's where we get to the further embarrassment of Neon. After he tried to troll Nate Diaz of all people and got absolutely embarrassed. I mean, you can feel the secondhand like embarrassment through the this. screen on this one. When you do get knocked out, are you going to retire? Who said that? So I know who you are. I mean, he might be the only person dumb enough on earth to try and troll a professional fighter who is known to not give a single f or that little bitch boy, you little pussy <laughs> if, 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 if you do, if you do. I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be watching. I just, I'm just, i excited to see both sides. But... You notice how he just immediately folded from his question? First, he's like, oh, when you get knocked out, what the fuck is gonna happen? And Nate's and like... This, uh, that's the man that said it's on site. To Jack Dor... 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 Dorothy... Dor... Hey, P.S. Fuck you. <laughs> I, I have a lot of respect for everyone, man. It's just, I want to see a great fight. You. <laughs> And this is where Nate makes his greatest. Okay, and I'm not. See, I ain't, I don't know this man. I don't know his mental health and everything. But if you start talk, shit talking to mofos that be getting and hit on a daily for fun in the head, their brains be going through so much. I'm, I'm telling you, their brains be going through so much. It be shaking. 
He be shaking it's like a maraca. You or is that the maraca? I feel like that was from my childhood. The shaky things. That's what's happening. Mofo's the the brain. Let's okay. We about to have like a like a analogy right here. The maraca is the person. The shaky things is the brain. Listen, that shit happens to them on a daily, regular. Okay, they gotta know how to take them hits. And you over here trolling them, and you're 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 over here not. Bro, anybody that fights Jack Dorothy, Dor, Dor, Dorhinge, you should really already be, you should be able to stomp that man the fuck out. If it shouldn't be no close, no nothing, no, it should be just, you feel me? Bop, bop, done. You, I don't even know what that was, to be honest with him, but you gonna go and talk troll mofos is getting hit in the head? That's, that's poor mental health. That's poor... That's just a poor decision making, really. I say the same thing about um, football players. I just something that's something like the CTE, the CTE. It's that's a real big issue. That's why I always said if I have kids and I have a son or whatever, I don't think I, I don't think I'll let them. I don't know. Like I wanted my child to know how to fight. Getting knocked upside your head. Just because I don't think I could do it. I'm going to be real. I don't think I could do it. And the football thing, you're literally like, okay, I don't know much about football. I ain't going to lie. But I feel like you like like a rhino. Like you're running head first in the mofos, right? Or tackling or something. I don't really know. But I just feel like it's it's not smart to mess with people that have to get their brain shaking up all the time um, on a daily basis for years and years to come. Ration and the one right under it coming up. Real shit kids like this little bitch talking in this motherfucker. That is like uh, changing You see how he's talk like, wait, I don't, never mind, never mind, never mind. Need your little ass whoop. I got little exactly. girls here that'll you up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's just not the smartest individual talking all this shit when he's standing in a room full of people who would turn his body into a literal pretzel. And like oh, I said earlier, person. Nate Diaz and the people he has around himself do not give a shit, and it seems like they're always ready for something to go down. I, I blacked out, what did he even say to me? Okay, wait, car, get in the car. Yeah, I'll, call, I'll call Mazda Dollars, get in the car. Um, hey, hey, stop. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so they would chase him down the block for a while and then he would end his stream. After this all went down, him and his security guard, Leon, would get into it. Thank God you're alright, but uh, totally those people are crazy. I know, yeah, they're like, they're grown men, like actual grown men. Neon. What the fuck are you? What? I'm, I'm, I, um, common sense that's lacking once you hit 18 and for some unlucky mofos, when you like under the age of 18, a lot of shit go down in the hood, bro. It'd be 13 year olds out there with machine ready to, ready to off some mofos getting their head getting shaked the fuck up. They don't give a fuck. Well, I mean, he's 19 too. Like, so he's a grown as hell, but. I don't, I don't, like I said, it's the, they will antagonize my foes and you could argue that he, what he said wasn't the worst thing in the world, but you, you, you talking out your mouth. You wanted, you wanted the mic and you said what you said. Now the mofo mad. And now it's like the victim thing. You do what you do. Like you got to deal with the consequences of your actions. That's what it is. You got to deal with the consequences of your actions. And those mofos do not be doing that. They just be crying. By definition, you are supposed to be a grown man yourself. You're the one that went in there trolling a professional fighter, and when you troll him, you're probably trolling pretty much all of his family, all of his entourage, and you expect them not to do anything. You're out here playing the victim. I told you, that is why I told you when we were walking. That is why when you sat down and asked me to show you, you know, what's going to happen if you do it, that's why I showed you exactly what was going to happen, and it happened exactly like I told you. Yeah, I won't lie. This man deserves a raise. Never mind. I'm done. I, I don't need to talk anymore about this. Y'all you, I'm sitting here telling you, and you want to talk to the chat. I mean, a security guard isn't just an excuse to do as much dumb shit and talk as much crap as you want. Yeah, because I'm not going to lie. Some people got gun. What can I say on YouTube? Some people got um, pow pow. You feel me? And I'm sorry. I don't care how big you are. One of them might, you feel me, at least debilitate your ass. So after they pow pow that man, now what? Now it's up to you. And now you got to figure out what to do and you going to cry. I know, bro. Them niggas is mad big, bro. <laughs> now, I know. Who is he? Who is he? I, I, I don't know. I'm not, you know, I could be completely wrong, but I don't know. Just something in me feel like this man was not friends with this man before he started streaming. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. 
with those guys. Like, I know this man is probably looking for a clippable moment because I have not seen much go viral about him lately. But I don't know, the whole situation just makes me laugh. It's always fun to catch up with what's going on in the world of Dumb and Dumber. <gasps> but I do want to know what you guys think about these updates down mm. below. As always, also want to thank you guys for watching today's... Yeah, they're just idiots, bro. They're idiots. Is there anything else? Because I feel like... I don't know, it's ads. Um, but yeah, I, I don't... I don't feel bad for them ever. Most of the time at this point, like on the, maybe the first mishap, you could be like, okay, all right. The, the kind of snap your ass back in reality is this is not as jokey jokey as you might think you probably not from that world. So you don't know what the fuck is going on. But at this point, the amount of times both of them have gotten pressed for shit that they do and say, I don't feel bad for neither one of y'all, to be honest. And y'all little bitch ass security is not really helping you as much as I feel. Or I, I'm not going to say, I'll say Jack Doherty's bitch ass security. Because it feel like with him, he be um doing shit high behind, and hiding behind his security. And his security be trying to fight my foes. It seemed like Neon's security honestly had some type of intellectual like um, thought process. Thought processing. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I just think it's dumb. I don't know why this is still like, um, a thing. I, I don't really know why they're still popular. It, they're just corny and weird to me. That's my personal opinion though. I guess they have fans obviously. So who knows who cares? Um, they just need to chill out before something really bad happens to them. And then they want to sue somebody like Sneeko's dumbass. Anyways, y'all like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. I'll see y'all in the next one.